And then from a social point of view, collaboration over competition is the main drive for girls. Uh, certainly from the, the most recent survey that was done and the, the, the research that's been done around groups of players within grassroots settings. So that collaboration piece is so important. Um, and the more that you can do to support um, female players around feeling part of something, having a belonging, um, that really draws them to want to play and want to stay and play. For young girls, that's really important, you know, the enjoyment, the environment that you create, the, um, you know, the feel that players have when they maybe turn up for the first time. Who's introduced them? Do other people talk to them? Do other people feel them valued and included? How... how can you do that and how can you create that kind of environment? For the girls that you coach, um, for at a certain age, they might start to change and that change that you might see in them might be based more on how they're worried or how other people view them. Okay, so it's actually, uh, so you might be in a scenario where you ask a question and you know they know the answer, um, but actually what they're not willing to do is to always be the one that that keeps giving that answer because they actually start starting to worry about what everyone else is thinking about them. So that self-perception piece um, is actually something that if we don't keep praising people that are willing to be confident, that are willing to be creative, uh, whether that's you know on the pitch, you know those kind of things we'll see tonight. It's really important that we you know, praise players that are willing to take risks, that are brave enough to make mistakes, so that actually they don't worry about the perception piece, about what if people see me make mistakes, what if I fail, what if I can't. Um, so just trying to think of ways that you can build confidence for players.